Oh, hello. My name is Emmanuel, and I'm from the Mason Financial Ministries International Kids Corner. And I bet you're wondering why the title's called Donkeys Can Talk. You probably think that. You probably think that I've, that I've had a dream and I thought it's real, don't you? But it's true. It's in the Bible. Because today we're talking about Bam Balam 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 Bam Balam 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 and his donkey. And also the King Balak. And this is in Numbers chapter 22 to chapter 24 to the end. Balaam was a prophet and Balaam was knocked at the door by Balak who was the king of messengers and they went to Balaam and told him come and curse the Israelites because at that time they thought that the Israelites were coming to attack them because the Israelites had crossed over from the Jordan to Jericho and there's another town which King Balak rules. King Balak was really afraid. He thought the Israelites had come to destroy their city just like he did to Jericho. So he called upon Balak. Balak told the men to sleep here at his house tonight until God gave him an answer. God, I mean, Valam went to sleep and God told him that, God told him that I will not curse the Israelites. It's obvious God will say that he won't curse the Israelites because the Israelites are God's chosen people. God, so then off that, Balaam told Balak's messengers that God had told him no, and they should go back to, to King Balaam, to King Balak, and tell him, this is confusing, Balak, Balaam, Balak, Balaam. So the messengers went to Balak, and Balak was really upset. So he told them to go back to their house and ask um, Balaam again, but this time bribe him with money. Balaam was, Balaam loved money. He was really interested with money. He loved all the money made from his profit. But Balaam refused. Balaam refused to get all the money. Balaam went and Balak's officials went to the king and told him and to that were, that's a repeat, even though I said it to you, just to make things clear. So he, they went one time and they came back again and Balaam wondered, hmm. Maybe God will change his mind, but God isn't a man to change his mind. It says so in the Bible. It says in Numbers 23:19 that God is not human that he should lie, nor a human being that he should change his mind. So that's showing that God isn't like us. Even though we were made in his image, doesn't mean that our personalities will always be the same as God. Because obviously us humans will sin, but Jesus, God, never <coughs> Jesus, God, never sins. So, Jesus said, when Balaam woke up and the officials were and Balaam's, ba Balak's, uh, Balak's messengers woke up. He told them that he told God told Balaam to tell Balak's messengers 
that Balak that oh, this is so confusing that I need just time to think five seconds and it'll be there five four three two one yeah I remember they told Balaam to go with Balak's of messengers <laughs> Balaam's messengers ride with them, but only do as God says. So, Balaam went out with Balaam, Balak's officials. So he rode on his donkey to um to his palace. After after he arrived, after he arrived, I mean, in the middle of when he was riding his donkey saw an angel and then the donkey stopped and Balaam felt like a fool because he hit the donkey three times but the donkey did move and enough that the donkey opened its mouth and spoke imagine that you're whacking and slapping a donkey three times and the donkey just, and, then, and the donkey just comes back and, and he starts talking. That sounds very weird. So the donkey told Balaam, why have you whipped me this I mean why have you um why have you hit me these three times? Am I not the donkey that I that that you that you that you have ridden that that you have rode loads of times before have I done this ever before to you and he said no but and he also told the donkey that if he had a sword in his hands he would have killed the donkey if I were you I wouldn't kill a donkey that spoke I'd sell it seriously a donkey that talks that would be something that everyone would love. Everyone would like that as a pet. Don't you agree? So if I was Balaam, I'll make a I'll make an advert. The talking donkey. Where you can buy talking donkeys. Back to the story. So then after that, God opened Balaam's eyes because Balaam didn't see the angels. So after God opened Balaam's eyes. He saw the angel. Abenoff that the angel Balaam was scared. He laid down on his knees. And then off that the angel told Balaam that if Balaam approached with the donkey after he had hit him those three times, that he would have killed Balaam but spared the donkey. So that means that if the donkey hadn't stopped, Balaam would have died. Isn't that amazing? I think I'll add that to my advert. Talking donkeys that can easily save your lives. They're only £2.99. <laughs> so, after Balaam, I mean, after the, the angel spoke to Balaam, and he told Balaam that he also told Balaam that when he goes there, he he should only say what God had told, what God tells him. That if he tells anything else, he would die. So Balaam went off again with the king's messengers, with Balak's messengers, and he ended, and he went to the um palace he went to the palace and when he went into the palace king balak started king balak took him to a mountain and they i don't know what the mountain's called again but it starts with b and it sounds like balab i mean balak so try and check that up inside the bible while you're reading it because you should so after that, that then after that, um, they then after that, since you read the Bible, I read to you the Bible verse. 
God is a man and he doesn't, I mean, God is not a man and he never changes his mind. They were trying to change God's mind. So they, so what they did was they got an offer, I mean, an uh, altar and uh, they lay, and they burnt, they had seven altars and they burnt two types of animals. I think it was bulls and rams. They, they slaughtered those animals and sacrificed it to God for God to tell, for God to tell. So after they sacrificed it, God told Balaam, no. The second time he, they did it again and they said, and God still said, no. What a waste of animals. Who knows? They could have talked as well. So after that, Balaam, after that, Balak was really, really upset because he really wanted to curse the Israelites. That was the end of the story, but wait. If you sum this all up, who do you think was the silly man in this story? Number one, Balaam was a prophet. He didn't seem very prophetic to me because if a donkey could see an angel, so if an animal could see an angel before a human being, how does that sound to you? That sounds like the animal's smarter. And also, since he was a prophet, he would have obviously known that God was a man. I mean, God wasn't, God isn't a man. And he doesn't change his mind. And also, King Balak was silly as well. Because, number one, A, A, they, the Israelites weren't passing to harm their city at all. They were just passing the Jordan. He was so worried that the Israelites had come to attack him. When really, he wasn't in any danger at all. How does that sound to you? After Balak realised, how do you think he felt? Also... Also, Balak, B, Balak, since they were crossing, when the um, Israelites were crossing over the Jordan, instead of calling an army, because wouldn't that be the necessary thing to do? <laughs> you call, so loads of people are attacking your city. You at least think they're attacking your city. What, what would you do to them? Wouldn't you get all of your army and send them out to fight them? Instead of going to one single man to curse all of them. And he said no lots and lots of times. What do you think he should have done? Well, he shouldn't really have done that. Because he would have destroyed God's people. Actually, he wouldn't have destroyed God's people. Because God people, God's people always win. That's all we have time for today. Don't forget to write down below in your comments who do you think was the silliest, Balak or Balak? Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye.